you probably know that Turkey has started a military operation in northern Syria. In this video, I will tell you what Turkey's goals are and what it wants to achieve with this military operation. So, goal number one. Turkey wants to take control of Kurdish territories in order to prevent the Kurdish liberation movement from developing. The Kurds are a people living in northern Syria and in the southeastern part of Turkey and the overthrown part of Iraq. These once divided people have long dreamed of creating their own nation called Kurdistan and are leading a liberation movement. This movement is banned in Turkey and is considered terroristic. Most of today's ideological leaders of Kurdistan are now located in the northern part of Syria. According to the Kurdish people's idea, Kurdistan is to be created mainly at the expense of the territories of Turkey and Syria. That's why Turkey, feeling a threat to its territories, wants to prevent and suppress the Kurdish movement in Syria. But this is not Turkey's only goal. Having taken a good position in northern Syria, Turkey will probably try to continue to move south in order to eliminate the regime of Bashar al-Assad. Why would Turkey do this? First of all, we should understand that Turkey wants to be the leader of the entire Muslim world. It wants to regain the influence it had as an Ottoman Empire. The Turkish president himself makes no secret of the fact that he's trying to revive the Turkish Empire, but in a more modern form. Compared with other Muslim countries in the Middle East, Turkey has a relatively large economy and the strongest and most modern army. Also, Turkey has considerable moral authority as a defender of true Muslim values. But Turkey has a competitor that is also seeking to establish its influence in the Middle East. This is Iran. Iran has a strong influence in Syria. Bashar al-Assad's regime still exists thanks not only to Vladimir Putin, but also thanks to the Iranian regime. Iran provides a lot of support to the Syrian dictator. If Turkey were to overthrow Bashar al-Assad's regime, it could greatly strengthen its position in the region and push Iran back. And right now, the circumstances for this are favorable. First, Russia cannot fully defend its protege Bashar al-Assad since significant Russian military forces have been withdrawn from Syria and transferred to the war with Ukraine. Secondly, no one except the Iranians will defend Bashar Assad's regime now because no one needs him, neither Israel nor the Western countries. And Iran doesn't have enough power to resist Turkey even if it wanted to. Therefore, there is an unequivocal conclusion. Turkey pursues two goals in its military operation to pacify the Kurdish insurgency and then to move on to the elimination of Bashar Assad's regime. And we must admit that Turkish President Erdogan has a good chance of success. But even that will not stop Turkey. Turkey will probably carry out more military operations in the coming years to drive pro-Iranian forces out of countries like Yemen and Lebanon. And all the Sunni Muslim countries in the region and Israel will support Turkey in this. Turkey is bound to become the dominant military force, creating a new coalition of Muslim countries around itself. This is the way things are going. Now, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on more videos.